this is it. That's the parking. So what is it we're coming up to here? The witches? The witches bitches. The witches bitches. <laughs> Oh, so this is called the Museum of Witchcraft and Magic. How, when was it all set up? 1951 on the Isle of Man. Oh, wow, that's amazing. And who set that up then? What was the person? A man called Cecil Williamson. And he was into sort of what? Magic and things like that? Occult. Yeah. yeah. How did you take it over then? You just got interested. I took over it uh, eight years ago from oh, Graham right. King, who was the previous director. Yeah, yeah. So it's open most of the year, I guess? Uh, from April 1st through to October 31st. Yeah. And where are we now at the moment? This is... Boscos. Boscos. So people could always book you online and come and see you, couldn't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, OK. So yeah. anything interesting happened here? Do you ever get any spooky things happen in a place like this? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> anything specific? Cecil pops back and says hello every so Yeah, yeah? Yeah. Interesting place. Have you ever had any mediums walk around it or anybody sort of... Uh... No, we discourage it, really. Yeah. Just because... Once you open the floodgates, it's not. Yeah, yeah, you end up with it commercialised and well, yeah. silly. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks. So thanks well, for showing. I'll put. I'll put that on YouTube. But that's all right. Lovely. Yeah. yeah of okay. Thank Cheers. you very much. Thanks. Okay. Thank bye. you. Bye bye then. <laughs> Oops. So this is the what the witches museum. Witch and magic. And where we are, we're in Boss Castle. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Cecil. Perhaps he owned it. Why is it magic? Old Meg was a gypsy and she lived upon the moors. Her bed is, it was broken off turf and her house was out the doors. Her apples were swart raspberry blackberries, her current pot of broom. Okay, I don't think I'll do any more of that. <laughs> Who's did this? This is the Cecil guy, Robert no, Linkiewicz. It's got the you might be more interested. Why yeah. the museum is in Boss Castle? This why is it's what? magical. Why Boss Castle was magical? Why Boss Castle is magical? Boss Castle is a magical place. It is said that the founder of the museum used to walk to the White Tower on the cliffs every night to put the sun to bed. The painting above. Um, by the local artist Vivian Shelley, imagines Boss, Boss Castle at night, a place where people revere nature and where one gets the feeling that anything could happen. The Reverend Robert Stephen Hawker was an Anglican priest, poet, and antiquarian of the Cornwall in the 1880s. He's described and then goes on and just talks about it in that time. Well, that's interesting. And this is Robert. Leopoldovich, no, no, epic me. artworks, including the bar Barbican mural. So these are his artworks. He's German. He's the grand master of the black arts. Okay, interesting. Look! Yes, these look like people that are... Oh, so we've, got, we've got other stuff here. Corny old witchy sort of stuff there, I think. Mind your head. Yeah, that's a little bit lame, that is. Yeah. A bit more interesting. There's those lovely paintings. And there's his pet. Taxi Derby Fox's wax face death mask. It's one for Nanny Joan, I think, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think Nanny Joan would like one of those, Damien. Yeah. I reckon she'd like one of those. She has all her things in her cabinet, doesn't she? Sure, is like Yeah, she good. likes things like that. Yeah, I mean... She likes all sentimental things, mainly. Yeah. Halloween. Um, looks like we've got some tarot cards. Mm, a bit cool, isn't it? 
So this one's all about mediumship, which is rather nice, isn't it? Because it says, Put from conception by the spirit to the capture of the potus spirit child in the glass vial, the nude witch woman contemplates her heart's desire for her from now on to death has no fear. She has as an insight into the spirit world that lies beyond the grave. She knows that what the New Testament teaches ah! is indeed the truth. For here the stone has been rolled oh, away. Yeah. She now has My proved to herself yeah, why so the tomb is empty. The world of spirit is there. Yeah. It does exist which, which and awaits those who choose to seek it out. Now what's all this about? This is the uh, torture the of the witches. Looks like she's chain. Persecution of the witches. The power so of that's print. what they would have had to have worn. Mm -hmm. Thomas Brown, Janet Corset, or Cotfoot, Beatrice Lang and Lang. Okay, so these are all the things they had to wear when they were witches. Oh, rather nice books. The third book of demonology. There's one. Amazon Prime, isn't it? Evidence. No, I'm trying about. And this is all about Pendle no, in 1612. Hey. That was the Pendle yeah. Witches, wasn't it? That's yeah. up in Lancashire. Yeah. I always think it's nice to have a family day out in a witchcraft museum like this. They do actually. This is about the trials. Oh, this is one of the chairs that they could sit in, isn't it? Oh, this is the ducking stool, isn't it? And you have to be weighed against Bibles, I presume, or something. Hmm. You know, the stories. Oh, the pixies under the mines. Some strange stuff. You can spot your interest there, Jane, that you think's interesting. The, stone. <laughs> the what? Look at that stone. Oh, what about the stone? What is it? It makes the put them under your pillow. Yeah. Right? Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> That stone looks a bit dodgy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it's been <laughs> sent to somebody. Yeah, they're very it's lovely. On a, on a you might be able to get one in the souvenir shop afterwards. I'm sure they'll have a souvenir shop here. What? And then mine will. Pitchfork. To toss trouble away. These are the St. Neoc corn dolly. You're interested in that little picture thing there that Mum was interested in, I see. What? That stone. <laughs> I'm sad about the snake necklace because it's made out of a dead snake. Well, I think the word snake in the word snake necklace kind of gives it away. So this is a changeling baby, a changeling in the European folklore. It's a deformed or imbecilic offspring of fairies and elves, substituted by the surreptitiously by a for a human child. I suppose that's their way of explaining things like that. That's what cobweb in. It's the pub down the road. Just the pub down the road, it's looking for a cobweb. So is this one like that? I don't think. There's one in... Is that real? This is a sort of a table of... Pictures. Yeah. All those pictures. Something for the living room. The book for your bedroom. What's all this look? Oh, this must be the potions and things. Oh, yeah, very interesting. Interesting stuff they're using here. What have we got? Mm, very strange. <laughs> interesting. Let's show your potions and things. I don't know what this is. Objects in the witch's garret. An alchemist's room. Snows Hill Mom Manor. Well, this is all the alchemy that. stuff. I love all the alchemy industry. It's so weird. Well, they explain it all there bit by bit. It's 
cool, isn't it? Cool, look it is weird frog. stuff, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Weird thing. Dead frog hanging on hooks. Strange bell like thing. Saber tooth skulls. Mm -hmm. Even the old chest there is quite uh, mysterious, isn't it? Weird stuff. Wax hands. Votive offerings. Look at the pig. Fermented pig. Ooh, fermented pigs. Mm. Don't you look at these boobies? Mm. <laughs> oh, a bit like that. Yeah, snail necklace. There's something for every, the whole family here, isn't there? <laughs> God. Weird. This is curses, is it? Oh, it's a little animated. Can I just step in? Different charms. It's all right. You may Stay remember here. that the very first charm I told you was about granting a wish using the moon's rays. Here's one that's similar, but you use it to take away something unwanted. I wash my hands in this thy dish. Ooh, lots going on in here. Strange, don't know where to begin. Hand in heart. Hand amulets. Ooh, weirdy, weirdy. Roman amulet with phalluses. Oh, look at those cats, okay. Ooh, yeah, aren't they odd? Ooh. What's that child thing there? Chimney popper, what the hell's that? This doll was found in the chimney. And then they used the dead cats. Ooh. Not very nice, is it? Ooh, yucky, yucky. Oh, those are the Napolitans. Dad, look at that. Look. Dad, look. Lots of things to get from the souvenir shop here, I'm sure. Strange dolls. Dead cats. People with pins in them. Ew, what are those? Lots of symbols of hate, isn't it, really? This, when you think about it, people you hate. That they're her trying to hurt. How to create bad karma for yourself, Curse. basically. <laughs> Cursing people. What's that shoe thing? Isn't that weird? What's that all about? It's a jealousy curse. What you found there, Danielle? What have you got on this one? Look at the magic doll. Yeah. I'm just going to see how the witch doctor's flesh. Ooh. God, it's all genuine stuff too, and this is not faked up stuff. This is all real stuff they've got here in this museum. Look at this. Bloody hell. Weird. I really thought it was going to be a bit lame here, really. It was like that. Talking animation downstairs. Oh, Crosses and things there. Look at that curse. Thumbs up doll and postcard. The thumbs up figures incorporated various lucky emblems such as the thumbs up, a four leaf clover, while some have wooden heads so you can touch wood. From the postcard, this lucky symbol expressive of the confidence deep rooted in the hearts of Britain and her allies that right will triumph over might. And that's the instructions that it comes with. Weird. That doll was found in the chimney. What's the damn doll? <laughs> German one. <laughs> no, what do you think, Damien? Uh, look, come here. It's not very nice, is it? It's horrible stuff. 
what did you find? Ooh, yucky. What on earth is that all about? Penises and vaginas, Ian. <laughs> 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 really, I'm not joking. <laughs> God. Penis, vagina, 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 vagina. Penises. <laughs> Nanny Jones, penis. you know Nanny Jones cabinet, wouldn't this be lovely to slip some of this into it? <laughs> you know, with all the mere cats and things. God, yeah. Look at all that lot. And here too. I don't think this is for children. Oh, it up, yeah. I would have got it. I'm scared. Ooh, yeah, I don't mind you being scared. It's a bit like a real haunted house, isn't it? Absolutely nothing is reassuring here, what is it? Hell, what the hell was that? Look at this lot. Weird, weird stuff. The world of the fairy. Not the sort of fairies most people like, is it? And this is called the um, creator of the statue, Leon Miskin, describes it as like a superhuman animal headed Egyptian gods, black for the night, the pale for the day. Well, that's what it's all about, I suppose. <laughs> got strange Egyptian sort of characters there. I've seen that one before. We had one Did you night. See this cross made out of penises. I know. I've seen everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Come on, Look at this surreal sort of look to it. Let's go to chops like Oh, this one. I remember we do it in Italy, and they do it in Czech Republic too. What is it? Don't know, but it's got an Italian superstition, is it? It's a bride offering. Oh, all right. Oh, that's... Well, in Czech they use this to, to love the people on Christmas. Uh huh. But the women come to the house on Christmas, uh -huh. and they slap the men on their back with them. Sounds um, lovely. So here's some more strange stuff. I've got some really weird things here. And remember, it's not just made-up stuff. Most of this, a lot of it's genuine stuff from. The witchcraft, of particularly of the area of Cornwall. Here's, a, here's an oddity. Hold on eBay. The cursed doll. We could find it in the exhibits. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, did you did have some weird things happen with that thing, didn't you? Uh, what? What is it? Put it down. <laughs> yes, yes, lovely. We we'll get nanny one for Christmas. <laughs> Let's go and look. More strange things on the stairs. Stuff in there. Mind your sanity. I lost it. Ow! <laughs> You're hurting. No, I'm pretending I bang my head. Dozing stuff. Oh, that's You're quite nice. No, I didn't bang my head really. Are you fine in It's pendulums and dozing equipment. Palmistry. Oh, Tassiography yeah. tea set. That's what we want, Jane. In we the, need, we need this in the office, in the studio. We need this. Tassiography tea set. I wonder if we can get hold of one of them. Oh, that, that's the tarot cards. Palmistry cards here. Or Ouija boards. Planchettes. Oh, this is more familiar territory here. 
tarot cards, yeah, ride a weight pack there. Other things. And that's a um, feng shui compass. And we got some of those at home, those can chims. Practice the can chim interpreting dates back to the Jin dynasty according to the J Box records. An ancient Chinese book written in the third century AD. A question is asked and a stick withdrawn. The number of the stick corresponds to one of the hundred written answers to the questions. Hey, I've got one of those, but I didn't know that detail. Bronze mirrors. Cuneiform tablets. Scrying mirror. Now, if we look in there, maybe when we look deep into the scrying mirror, we may see something of our future. Oh, yeah. Oh, more. They've got Sergeant Peppers because they had Alistair Crowley and Sergeant Peppers, didn't they? If you want to know more, we have a video about Alistair Crowley. <laughs> yes, we do. You and me went up to Alistair Crowley's son. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Danielle, that's mommy. She's still, she's still she's fascinated, fascinated by there, She's she? reading every single one. It was done. <laughs> yeah. You've been up there reading all the penis Mommy. stuff, Willow says. Oh, you're going through it all? Yeah, it's here. It's here. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's here. The Golden Bell by Fraser. They nearly called me Fraser instead of Craig. Come here. Hmm. Which today? Quirking. Mars. This mask is made by Patricia Crowley's husband, Arnold. He was inspired after going to see the 1968 film The Devil Rides Out. The yeah. she made for a party, the mask ended up being worn within ritualistic practice within the yeah. yeah. Can I buy something here? Yeah. Highly expensive, I expect. Can I buy the animal pendant? Yeah. That's the one, the real one worn by the church, then by a member of the Church of Satan. Oh, what's this one? Church of Satan. My friends are in that. Anton Lavi. I found the most fascinating one I saw was in the British Museum. They had um, um, the scrying glass of um, Queen Elizabeth the First's um, uh, magician. I've got my head into my beard like him. <laughs> How lucky he is. You get discounted from part of the um, church, yeah. Oh, this is the this is the full sale section. Take my money. This is the full sale section. Take a money. Anything for the seance room here? All nice reassuring images. You think it's a bit scary? Yeah, I think it probably is a bit for kids. Bought anything in the shop, Jane? Anybody wants a fertility spell? What? Me neither. <laughs> What's the opposite of it? Anti fertility. You all tied bees in a bag. That sounds nice. That could be one for Christmas for somebody. Three bee charms. Can we go toilet? Oh, he needs a toilet. Oh, he needs a toilet now. Well, that's, I think, a fitting end it's always the to our journey. Right. Right. So this is where we'll say goodbye to the witchcraft museum.
you going begging? Look, Lauren fitting in with the Cornish people. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, then follow Jane and I on our adventures around the world by subscribing. You can click that button or you can click the little bell thingy on the main page and then you'll get regular updates every time we upload something new. Like the page and also make your comments. We look forward to seeing you next time.